on my back. Hey. Hey. Ha <laughs> Only me, people. Look what I've got. Straight out of the fridge from yesterday. I've been a naughty boy. Oh no, I oh know. I know, I know. Guess what this is? I've been naughty. I did say I wasn't going to buy another one of these. I was going to buy a beer for my Uflo or my. I think I was going to get beer in a bag last time. But, too good an offer to refuse. I couldn't turn it down. Problem is, every time you send one of these perfect draft kegs back, you get £5 tokens on your account, which is a great idea. And it catches you out a little bit because. You send it back, you get a five. You send one back, you get a five next, but you know you got a few quid in your account. You log in your account, they send you an email. Perfect draft. Send you an email, say, look, look, you got these credits in your account. Use them up, use them up. Went on there the other day, I found this. I can't remember what I bought. Can't remember what I bought. Got my sneaky camera outside watching the guy deliver it. So no stolen beer this time. So well done to Yodel. Well done to Perfect Draft. A fantastic service and a fantastic delivery service. It was, I must admit, really, really good this time. Tracked it from their company, or their warehouse or whatever, straight to my doorstep. So well done to Yodel, well done to Perfect Draft for brilliant service for a change. Well, Perfect Draft have normally got a brilliant service anyway, but the Yodel, pretty good delivery. And I was watching the guy deliver it and he put it on my doorstep. I was watching him, I was watching him, so he never took it, he left it there. And inside this is another beer from my Perfect Draft machine. I can't remember what I bought, but this come through, come up on the um, internet. Uh, short date one, I think it's June, we're in March, May, what are we in now? We're in May now, 2023. Um, I think this was June anyway, so let's unbox it and have a little look. I've got my trusty knife with me. My trusty unboxing, my trusty unboxing knife. There she is. Don't make them like that anymore, it looks a little lock knife. Oh, you can't take it down the streets with you anymore. Well, you shouldn't take it anyway, I never did, but uh, no, let's have a little, What? Well, I can't remember what I bought. But, I'm home alone. I've been left home alone. Uh, darling Gillian's disappeared and left me for a few days to go on a hen do at um, Centre Park somewhere. And I'm left alone, well not left totally alone, I've got family indoors obviously. But, um, I've been quite good actually. I've done some jobs indoors already. And it's, it's sunny out, it's lunch time. I'm going to put this on, it's straight out of the fridge. But it's in a cardboard box, I don't know how cold it is. But I'm going to whack it on anyway, on over. A sneaky taster of it. Let's see what we've got. See what we've got. Let's get this. Get it undone. Put the knife away. Anyone do this? Uh, what do I do? I press that button there. Press that little thing. That's it, right? That's gone. What have we got? Sticky label. Here we go. What we got? What we got? I can't remember what I bought. I bought. I bought. What did I buy? I bought Goose Island Lager. Five percent. That'd do Johnny boy. That'd do me. What date was it? Goose Island, Perfect Oh, it's nice and cold. Oh, oh that is cold. That's freezing. Let's get that puppy on. Lovely jubbly. Oh. Let's go for it, people. Don't forget, always keep your boxes. Don't squash them. Just throw them somewhere spare. Or you can cut them down smaller, fold them up, cut them down. Not cut them down, cut the tape on the back end of it, fold them down neat out of the way. But obviously tape them back up and reuse them. Perfect for sending your kegs back. What's this say? Short dated Goose Island, Golden Goose. Six litre keg. All the date 23rd of May, shipping promise date 25th of May, which I think is about right. And um, happy days, like I said, I left it in the fridge overnight. The pub, I put the fridge on last night for a night and I left it overnight and it's nice and cold, which means this thingy majig here, the perfect draft machine, the old one this is by the way, not the new pro one, I can't afford that, but this old one, it's still doing with me well, it won't bring it down to temperature so quick, but it's pre-cooled, which I recommend you do all the time with these machines, pre-chilled, I want to have a sneaky one, as I said earlier, I'm on my own, home alone, let's get this little puppy, take this off, come on, I'm excited, get it off, open this puppy up, it's ready to go, look, take that whiskey out of the way, so there you go, whack that on. Um, I've got this hidden, I packed it away, like I packed it, I put it in there. So that's a bit, that's a jobby. You've seen me do this plenty of times before probably. Um, that's the chill plate. It's not actually plugged, ooh, it's a bit too, going. Right, so I can't remember what we're doing now. Right, okay, get this undone. Pull this open. 
come on. Yes, yeah, it's, it's nice. What's the time? Don't know. The clock's. Oh, I need a battery in that clock. Alexa, what's the time? It's twelve forty-nine p.m. Twelve forty-nine, and the sun's shining. Patio's looking nice out there. Could do a jet wash. I must have been re resealing, but there's some. I've dusted the cobwebs off. The seat looks comfortable. Got my old whiskey barrel out there looking good. The bird bath needs some water. I just walked my dad's old rose bush. It's not my dad's rose bush. It's where some of my dad's ashes are. That was dying a little bit, but um, we haven't had any rain for a little while actually. It sneaks up in you. We haven't had great weather, but we haven't had any rain, so you've got to watch your old plants. Not that I'm into plantage. I'm not into plantage at all. But so uh, I've got one little rose bush. The only rose bush that actually stays alive, my dad's in my garden, is my uh, one of my dad's ashes in it. That tells you something. It? Oh, that's it. It's done. There you go. Push that puppy on, press the button, in she goes. Load it up. Hang on. All right, what do we do? I'm rushing. Lift that up there. She's on. Button's on there. Ready to rock and roll. She's in. Lock her down. Shut the doors. Happy days. Let's go and plug it in. Oops, it's not shut. There you go. Let's go and plug that puppy in. Around the back. I don't know if I should have had that on, first of all. Oh, it's pumping, it's pumping, it's pumping. It's making it Oh, there you go. Full Monty keg. Happy days. Full Monty, right. A little look, what glass do I use? That's what I want to use. I want to use this puppy. It's not a goose, it's not a goose island glass, but look at that. That's, I think I showed that before. That's nice. Um 12 degrees, bit warm. I think they can't remember what they say. No, three, three degrees today. I haven't got the app on this one. It's the old machine, as I said earlier. I haven't got the app or anything, but it's doing me fine as a little baby. Um, obviously a perfect drive wanna send me Phoenix wanna send me one out. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll check it out for one, but um, this is, these ones are fine. I think that's 200 quid I think you can get for now. Um, 16 days, I think that's on there. Do you have to all that down? I can't remember. Anyway, whatever. It's 12 degrees, it won't last me that long. It'll last me a couple of days, this will. I'll have a sneaky one just to test it out. The first one's always a bit heady, but um, I'm going to go for it. What have I got on the top there? I think I've got a little... Oh, you can get these little magnets. Buy them off eBay. Yo! Best granddad. Look at that. I think my, uh, I think my grandson bought that. Well, he never actually bought it himself out of his own money. And he never actually went to the shop. But, um, nice, nice. Have a little go, shall we? Oh, noisy, noisy. I think I've buggered up here. I shouldn't have used this glass because um, the first one's going to be heady. It's not cool enough. So I can't, well, I can use that glass, but I'll let it settle. Um, oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this one. Ah, uh, Camden Town Brewery one. They're nice. These are nice glasses. Where's my Moretti glasses gone? I was collecting. Ah, uh, I think I'll get one of the Moretti glasses. Let me lean over. Excuse me. I only got two of these in the end. I didn't get a bloody set. I've never stopped doing them. The Moretti. The ones I mentioned, I think, are in another video. The collector's ones. I think I got two. I oh, was going to get one. There's a set of four. La, da, da, da. I'm looking up there thinking I'm going to get like someone's look, watching me if they're not because I'm on my own. Well, I'm not entirely on there. I've got my son and family hanging around about and about. Round and about. That's a nice drop, actually. That is a nice drop. Right, let's try and do a proper pint, shall we? In the Moretti glass. Right, 45 degrees. Come on. Oh, I'm spilling it. Getting spillage. No one likes that. It's not cold enough. It's too much head. Oh, I'm gutted. I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna have to wait. Look, got any flags, people? I don't wanna wait. Beer towel. Put that on there, I think. Keep it nice and tidy. I'll have to pour one at the other. You really meant to let this go down. Oh, it's 11 degrees now. You meant to let it go down. I think it's 3 degrees. It pours better for 3 degrees and let it settle as well. Just waved it about in the air, showing you guys. So, um. I'll come back tomorrow, it'll probably be a better pint, or later on tonight. But I am going to pour one into the other. Such a nice day, it's cloudy earlier, don't know why. Went for a couple of pints last night, ended up coming home early. And it's weird when you're like, home alone and you can do what you want, you don't really do anything different. It's like, you get all excited and you don't. 
I know, it's sad, don't I? Anyway, um, went for a couple of beers last night. Bit, bit of a little tiny, small, tiny, tiny, tiny Chinese on the way home. Went to bed nice and early, and I was up at bloody half five this morning. It's so light. I'll tell you what. While on the subject, May 2023, I must admit I was repeating myself, which I quite often do when I have a couple of beers, but I couldn't believe it. I was telling a friend of mine, how light was it? I think I was walking up, I think it must have been about nine o'clock. How light was it last night? If you're in the UK, May 2023, end of May actually, how light is it? I love it. It's fishing weather or it's garden, bar weather, beer weather, pub shed weather. It's all that sort of weather. It's not baking, baking hot at the moment over here in the UK, but it's so light. So like nine o'clock and it's like daylight. It's really, it, it, it freaks me out a little bit. It really does. Right, let's have another. Oh, that's better, that's better. What is it? Not really. Look at that there. God. That's a nice drop. Ah, just drinking the head off of that. Well, I'm not actually, I'm drinking the beer. That's Goose Island, 5% on the perfect draft machine. They're available from, um, it used to be Beer Hawk, but they've renamed it. It used to be Beer Hawk and Perfect Draft. Now it's just called, I think it's just called Perfect Draft. I think the website's just called Perfect Draft now. Um, check me out on Facebook. I think I've got a Life of John, well, I think I have. I've got a Life of John Facebook page. It's a little bit quiet, but we've got some pub shed builders on there, some carfish on there, a mixture of people that watch this channel. But um, if you're after one of these machines or the newer one, I can post a code for you on there. They send me on a regular basis, like a link. And I can post a code where you can get money off if you want. In actual fact, I'll put it in the description below this video. Thinking about it, and I put a link to the Facebook group if you fancy popping on to say hello. Uh, like minded people, whatever they may be, I do not know. Now, men, women, all men, women, welcome. Let's um, pour one on the other. I think I'll pour. I don't know what the point of pour, point of what. Look at that, it's bloody. You want to tell you what, if you went to the pub and got that, you'd be doing your nut, wouldn't you? I must admit, you would, but. When it's in your own little shed, it doesn't really matter. That will settle down. As I say, I'm making an excuse for my little machine now. It's my fault. I should have waited. It's 11 degrees. It's meant to go down to three. Or, I think it's three degrees it goes down to six or something. It, it pours a lot better when it's chilled. I did have it in the fridge overnight, though. It's, it felt cold, but I know if they're not registering properly. Um, these older machines, I've mentioned this before, have just got like a, a cold plate, a metal plate underneath, which chills the keg. I think the new machine, you get an app, but disregarding the atmosphere. No, we're here, not there, really. But the new machine, I think, it's got an actual, actual refrigeration unit, probably a mini fridge built around it. From what I gather, I don't know. Um, either way, they both work well, and I love them. As I said earlier, I was a bit naughty because I did say in my last video, in my last perfect draft keg video, I did say that I was gonna. Um, I think I was gonna get a beer in a bag, but I'm trying to do some decorating doors at the moment, so I'm going to I'm, instead of shooting down to the brewery and getting my beer in a bag, pop picking one up and getting one delivered. I've been sort of otherwise engaged in other bits and pieces and there's, there's other videos and stuff and I've been away recently if you watched that video I'm not sure if you saw that I'm doing some work for photo photographic work and um, I'll put the links to that below I think if I get around to it or the other videos whatever um, so yeah I was going to get uh, a beer in a bag was going to be my next purchase I, I must get one put it for the old Betty Stokes the old um, excuse me that's just a I can't really call it now the badge thing but the pump, I want to pull it for the older pump, really. Not the U-Flow pump, the other one, the um, the beer engine, they call it. I don't know the beer engine. Let's well, put some line cleaner for it first, obviously, which I've got around the back there. You pull the line cleaner and some water. Um, if I get around to it, I'll put a link to the line cleaner. to Amazon where I bought mine, actually. It's a blue tub. Mix it up with water. Pull that through. But, as I said, the problem is with these, well, I'll only, I've only got... Actually, got zero credit now on my uh, perfect draft account, so I probably won't be buying any more kegs. I will get a beer in the bag next. 100%. Um, be quiet. Um, that's, that, hopefully, that's my other half. She's, I mentioned earlier she's in, uh, I think it's Elverdon Forest, is it? Centre Parks with some family and friends uh, on a hen weekend. One of the youngsters is getting married. And um, I was one of Sados. I was like the guy from Detectorists. Have you ever watched Detectorists? <laughs> Freaking ah! Uh. Yeah, I my darling Gillian, my other half, which some of you have seen online uh, or spoke we spoke about before. She might, she's appears in some of the videos every now and again, clips and bits and bobs. Um, she's been on live a few times in the old days. Uh, if you're on the live, let me know uh, as well. Can't get in. I've got to go outside. 
She's disappeared to uh, Hen Weekend with some friends and family and left me home alone. I've got my boys upstairs asleep, I think. But anyway, I was one of the sados. If you've ever watched Detectorists, he splits up with his missus for a little while or something over something. I've done it. It's a fantastic, fantastic show, The Detectorists. Brilliant show, UK show. So underrated. Well, it's won awards actually, but the amount of people you've, you speak to that have not watched it ever. It's a brilliant, brilliant show. The humour, the, the comedy, and it's fantastic. All dry humour. Brilliant. Two guys in a field, basically. But um, anyway, yeah, there's one night where they sort of like split up. We haven't split up, but they, you know, it's the same sort of And he has to measure our phone up and say, look, how do I use the TV control? Because I wanted to watch something this morning that had been recorded, and I couldn't. I normally use the old, t I know, whatever, I couldn't work out where to find the bloody recordings and that, so I had to message Jill. I found it in the end, I worked it out for myself, I'm pretty clever like that. So, <laughs> while I'm talking rubbish, happy days, that little puppy, and that little puppy have settled down. I haven't settled down, I need to settle down. So I'm going to pour one into the other, nice and slowly. Right, there you go. We're happy now. It's a bit bubbly, there you go. I'm in the wrong glass, I meant to pour in the other glass, didn't I? Look at that. That's lovely jubbly. Let's go and sit in the garden and have a little mouthful, shall we? It's one o'clock, Saturday lunch. Don't normally drink a soda, I must admit. Unless I've got friends around, but uh, it's all in, uh, it's all for the, oh, I've got my flip flop caught. Ah, I ate that on these stalls. Ah, oh, fuck it. Ah, bloody hell. Nightmare. I, I can't, I can't cope on my own. I really can't. I'm just struggling. I have pizza tonight, I think. Right, let's go sit in the garden. Sit in the garden and talk rubbish. Let's go and sit in the garden. Let's get some rays. Let's take, no, I won't take the top off. Oh, no, hang on. Oh, that's better. That's better, relax. Um, oh, by the way, hello, Jill. <laughs> Miss you. <laughs> if she watches this. She's on a hen weekend, so I've got my white legs out. Look, I know the holiday this year. Well, apart from America, but it wasn't a holiday holiday. That was a... It was a break, it was a holiday, but it was um, it was all go, that was. Anyway, we're here to talk about the beer. So this is Goose Island, 5% from Perfect Draft. That's not a bad drop. A little bit, actually, you can taste it, it's a little bit warm, so it's not dropped down the temperature properly yet. But, um, that's good, it's nice. So six litres, I think I said, didn't I? Did I say six litres? So many pints is that? Ten pints, is it, something? I don't know. That'll do me the weekend. Um, so hello Jill, if you're watching this video Jill, miss you and hello to all your friends and family and Shelley whose hen weekend it is and happy wedding etc. I can't, I can't wait, looking forward to it. I love a good wedding. I think I'm invited. can't remember. Hello Josh as well, because uh, I think we only stack too soon. But that's only a local one. Anyway, so I'm on my own. Funny thing happened, I was going to I talking about getting my sunglasses earlier. I was thinking about getting my sunglasses, but I'm in the shade in this corner here. Look, wheelbarrow. Got to get rid of that. I might get rid of it. Who wants a wheelbarrow? Tires flat. I don't really need a wheelbarrow. I don't use it. Funny thing happened the other day, and it's happened to me before with this camera. I've got these sunglasses, which are the same as this, but the dark lenses, special lenses. But you can see your phone, and you can see your dashboard in your car, but you can't see this camera screen. I think it happened on my GoPro. I panicked. I went to film my daughter's netball match the other week. Got the camera out. Got batteries ready, tripod ready, got everything ready. And the microphone, all that sort of that, just done it. I'm not an expert, but uh, couldn't see the screen, it's black. Shit, shit, battery's flat, battery's flat. I'm, it's broken, it's broken because I bought this camera used. I thought, oh no, I've been conned. Um, but it's almost new. Anyway, cut a long story short, took my sunglasses off, I could see the screen clear as you like. It's the sunglasses, it's done it to me before on another, I don't know if it's on the GoPro or on another screen. Anyway, off subject now, back onto the beer. Cheers, people. Um, to Jill, Anna, uh, Shelley, Jane, Sylv, Alison, and all the other people that are on the hem weekend. Hopefully, I've not missed any, but I have missed some out I don't know when it's gone. Have a nice time. They're all missing me, I'm sure they are. Don't drink too much and no naughty stuff, no uh, butlers in the buff stuff if you don't mind. Anyway. Not a bad drop. I'm only, I'm only going to borrow my money in this one pint, this one beer. Mm. Watch it out, chill out, sit in the garden. I don't know, yeah, what to do? I've done a few bits, I've got to do a bit of decorating and that, but, uh, or I can just chill out, sort some bits and bobs out, and uh, cut the, well, not going to cut the grass again, but I don't know what to do, really. 
Oh, really? I oh, was having a rest. I've asleep. I've had a sleep. Um, I don't want to do it. I don't want to go back out down the pub again. I don't know. Really, what to do myself? I've got a bit to do in the bedroom and the uh, bathroom, like decorating and doing that. But that's another thing. That's another project. You'll see those videos later on. Ah, oh, sun's cutting that grass. You can see it all quiet. No, I don't think that's a long mile. I think that was a um, uh, jet washer. I've got this ugly wheelbarrow. It don't look good, does it? I've got nice pub signs. I've got to get rid of that. I might leave it at the front. Let some take it. I don't really need a tyre, but I hide it down inside this shed for a little while. Got that shed in the door. Got, yeah, actually, I've got plenty to do. I've got a decorator to do. I've got that shed to bloody move out and re clear out and build my machine, 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 machine. I've got plenty. I've still got that to do. I've got to get it done this year. The priority at the moment is the bedroom and bathroom and finish off the bungalow. Um, and then I've got to coat that shit up behind us, paint that up. But Jill's away, so might as well just have a rest for now. I'm not really, um, you can't do too much in one day, do you know what I mean? You're trying to wear yourself out. I do tend to do that, I tend to peak too soon sometimes. Mm. Anyway, happy weekend, bank holiday weekend, people. Have a nice one if you're watching this at Bank Holiday Weekend in May. If you're watching it another time, have a nice time anyway. Don't, not a problem. So that's a Goose Island on the Perfect Draft. It's a lovely beer. A little bit warm. It's 11 degrees. It was meant to be a bit short, a bit cooler now. but uh, It's not bad. It's got a little bit of a tang to it. There's another one I'm going to try, someone keeps mentioning, a few people have mentioned, not someone, so a few people have mentioned another one that you can get, which I recommend. Uh, a few people of my subscribers have recommended on YouTube, so I'm going to get that next comment, it's called now. I'll have to check out the, um, the uh, comments in the videos. Anyway, if you like Perfect Drive, if you like these videos, please like, subscribe or whatever. And um, if you've already subscribed, check out the Facebook group, I'll put the link below actually. Pop on there, say hello and show us your pub shed if you've got one, if you, or you might get some ideas. There's plenty of guys on there, guys and girls. That have got to convert their sheds into little pubs and bars. Uh, actually, one I saw the other day got fan there's guys from Canada, America, all over the world, um, Ch uh, J Japan. The one I saw the other day, fantastic, it's done what I want to do actually, an outdoor kitchen, I have got space, but I might integrate my barbecue into some sort of shelving. I'm going to put some sort of shelving out, that's my next project as well in the garden, I think. Some sort of outdoor um, shelving. Um, I want to move the whiskey barrel over and put some. The shelf there with some seating area. I don't, don't know yet. Is it, I've got it up. It's all up here. It's all up here. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye bye. Have a nice time. Cheers. Mmm. Nice. A bit warm.